Hey guys, it's Pastor Joe. I wanted to say thank you for staying home and taking care of your kids. I know I don't have to say thank you for it, but you're doing it, you're staying home, you're there with your kids, and uh, we are in this midst of the unknown. Nobody knows what's gonna happen next, and not to say that out at, for us to be afraid or to be fearful, but the reality is we don't know how long this quarantine is gonna last. Here's what we also know. I know that as a dad, it can be stressful. Your kids are home from school. You're having to make breakfast and lunch and dinner and the house gets filled with dishes and the clothes are on the floor and you're trying to teach them how to use the dishwasher and the washing machine and how to pick up after themselves and they don't do it and things get a little crazy. The kids sometimes don't do what we ask them to do. And as parents, we can respond in one of two ways. One, we can be harsh with them. Two, we can disengage with them. Or three, I said one of two, I meant to say one of three. Or three, we can um, engage with them where they're at on their level. I have something that I say to my kids all the time. I want you to act like a kid. You don't have to be an adult. You can just simply be a kid, act your age. That means be silly, be goofy, and also when you can be responsible, be responsible. Let me read, from you, uh, read to you from Ephesians chapter five. Paul said this in Ephesians five, beginning in verse 15. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music to the Lord in your hearts. And give thanks for everything to God the Father and the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now in this passage, Paul is very, very clear. Basically what he is saying is stay engaged. Stay engaged with the world around you. He says, don't act thoughtlessly. Uh, we can act thoughtlessly and carelessly with our words when we're stressed out with our kids, can't we? We can act thoughtlessly and carelessly with the way we treat them, with the way we speak to them. And Paul warns us, hey, don't do that. Instead, understand what the Lord wants you to do. I want to encourage you when you're feeling stressed out and when you're feeling crazy and you're feeling worn down, understand what the Lord wants you to do. It might be to stop and pray. It might be to stop and reflect. It may be, mom and dad, that you need a timeout. You need to go to your room and you need to chill for a little bit. You might need some me time. That's okay. Just don't make this entire quarantine or this entire school closure time about you. Make it about your kids. You could make some incredible memories with your kids. See, at the end of this quarantine, it's gonna leave a mark on our kids. They will never forget this season in the history of the world. They're never gonna forget the, name, the word coronavirus. And they're also going to remember how you responded during this time. Paul goes on to say, don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. You know this. If you get drunk with wine while you're taking care of your kids, it's going to ruin your family. If you get drunk with wine while you're trying to be a responsible parent, it's going to ruin your family. I know it's tempting to disengage and to pull back from being involved in their lives, especially when you get stressed out. But look at the alternative that Paul gives. He doesn't just say, don't disengage. He says, no, as a follower of Jesus, engage all the way, that you're in this all the way. He says, instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music in your heart to the Lord. What if this season your kids remembered mom and dad taking time out and sitting on the living room floor, speaking scripture and singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs? 
What if you left that lasting memory in their life that when they think about the coronavirus, they remember your nurture and your care for them as you called out to the Lord together as a family and you prayed for neighbors and you prayed for people down the street and you sung worship songs together. See, your kids will never forget that. That will leave a mark. And not only will that leave a mark, that just may leave a legacy. I want to encourage you, make the most of every opportunity that God has gifted you with your kids. Okay, that's all I have to say. I hope that you will have a blessed rest of your break and enjoy it.